Welcome to Chapter 3 of our enchanting tale, brought to you by Storyteller. In this chapter, we delve into the heart of the Storyteller's realm, a place where shadows dance like whispers and the air crackles with unspoken fears. Here, Evelyn stands at the forefront, her heart pounding like a drum in the silence. The mysterious Storyteller looms before her, his dark cloak swirling around him like a tempest, eyes glinting with the weight of countless tales. Join us as we explore the depths of courage and the power of storytelling in this captivating chapter. In the heart of the storyteller's realm, Evelyn stands at the forefront, her heart pounding like a drum in the silence. The mysterious storyteller looms before her, his dark cloak swirling around him like a tempest, eyes glinting with the weight of countless tales. The atmosphere is thick with emotion, a palpable tension that wraps around the children like a shroud. Marcus, Standing beside Evelyn, feels a surge of bravery coursing through him, a stark contrast to the timid boy he had been just days before. Finn, ever the jester, wears a serious expression, his usual humor tempered by the gravity of the moment. As Evelyn takes a deep breath, her mind races with the stories she has heard, the lessons learned from Clara, and the strength she has drawn from her friends. Evelyn steps forward, her confidence shining like a beacon. We are not just here to face our fears, she declares, her voice steady and clear. But to rewrite them, the storyteller's eyes narrow, intrigued. And how do you propose to do that, little one? His voice is a low rumble, echoing through the shifting landscape. As Evelyn speaks, the realm around them begins to shift. The dark hues of despair fade, replaced by vibrant colors that pulse with life. Marcus feels the shadows retreating their grip loosening as he finds his voice. I was afraid of the dark, but now I see it as a canvas for my courage. Finn, inspired by his friends, adds, and I learned that laughter can coexist with fear. It's okay to be scared, but we can face it together. The storyteller watches, a flicker of something akin to admiration crossing his features. The children's words weave together, creating a tapestry of understanding and unity. The realm responds, the ground beneath them shifting to reflect their newfound strength. The once ominous trees now stand tall and proud, their branches adorned with shimmering leaves that whisper encouragement. In that moment, the children realize that their fears are not just shadows to be banished but stories waiting to be told. They are the authors of their own narratives, and together, they can reshape the world around them. The storyteller, once a figure of dread, transforms into a guide, his role shifting as he recognizes the power of their collective voice. As the final words of their story echo through the realm, the landscape erupts in a kaleidoscope of colors, symbolizing hope and growth. The children stand hand in hand, forever changed by their journey, ready to return to the festival, where they will share their tales and foster a new understanding of fear within their community.